Should I move to Texas? Well, this is a question that a lot of people have been asking for the past couple of years. It seems like a lot's changed in the world, and it all started kind of with COVID. But it seems like between COVID and the elections, there's just more and more reason for people to start asking this question, should I move? Well, in the past year and a half of being on YouTube, we have had over 1,000, yes, 1,000 different conversations with people just like you that are thinking about moving to Texas. So why is it exactly that they're thinking about moving? And what is it about Texas that makes them truly considering packing up everything that they have going on and moving to a completely different state to start a new life? Well, we're gonna explore all of those today. Now, these are in no particular order, but I am gonna start with one that I think is probably one of the main reasons people are actually considering moving here. And we've heard this time and time again from clients, and that is they feel politically oppressed. There's people coming from all different walks of life, different states, different political backgrounds, even different countries like Canada. But I think there's a consistent theme going on right now that in certain states or certain countries, there's one political agenda that seems to be louder than the other. And for whatever reason, they don't feel comfortable staying in the current state that they live in. And we're not making this up. Unfortunately, this is just the truth. I've had a client just a couple of days ago walk in a neighborhood and he said, if you want me to be completely honest, we just don't feel like we can have conservative values where we live. We feel like if we speak up about it, we're gonna have you know something shoved down our throats or signs in our yard. As crazy as that is for me to believe, that's the actual reality going on. Which leads me to my next reason that a lot of clients are moving here. They really just want the best life for their kids. And so they start to explore their options. And Texas just seems to be one of the most family-friendly, conservative states that's got a lower cost of living. And we're going to get into all that in just a minute. But the overarching thing we're seeing a ton of clients move here for is because they want what's best for their kids. Now, there's no arguing that the overall cost of living in Texas is just lower than almost every single state in the country. So that is going to be a huge reason that people are choosing to consider Texas and ultimately choose to relocate to Texas is the cost of living. And we're not just talking about housing affordability, which is also a big factor here, but just in general, the cost of living, we have lower energy costs, we have lower gasoline prices, lower grocery prices, and the list goes on. And so when you're factoring in just living here, the overall cost of living is gonna be lower. And then whenever you combine that with no state income tax, that scene starts to add up really quick. Where it seems like a lot of other states are taxing businesses and individuals to death, Texas is doing the opposite. We're constantly trying to find new ways to decrease the taxes. And I know you're probably thinking, well, Texas does have a higher property tax. That is true and that is correct. But when you look at the Time and time again, we run numbers for our clients and it's still a heck of a lot more affordable to relocate and live here in Texas. And that brings up a really good point. One of the biggest reasons that we see clients relocating here to the Houston area specifically is they have great public schools. Maybe where you live currently, your kids are in private schools. Maybe you can't afford the private schools. Or even if you can, maybe you don't want to afford the private schools. Well, people are pleasantly surprised when they move to Houston and they say, hey, where are the best schools? And we have a list of tons of different great public school options for them. They don't, there's not just one good public school system that you have to fight to get in here in the Houston area. You can pretty much live in any part of the city and be sure that you buy in an area where they have fantastic public schools. I would say another huge pattern that we're seeing with the clients that are calling us is people want to be debt free on their mortgages. They do not want mortgages anymore. And because the housing affordability is so much better here in Texas, you've got people in California and in other states in the Northeast or the Northwest that are selling their homes that are usually 15 to 1800 square feet to buy in cash 3000 square foot homes here in Texas. And they can do that because the cost of homes in those markets are sometimes over 400% higher than comparable homes here. So they're getting a, a newer home a bigger home in a safer area that's more family friendly for half the price and they no longer have a mortgage payment. So you can see why people are considering this. What more could you ask for? Now, a more specific client call that we get frequently is, is it true that 100% disabled veterans pay zero property taxes here in the state of Texas? And the answer to that is, Absolutely. Texas loves our veterans and there are tons of different veteran benefits when you live in Texas. In fact, we have a whole video on VA benefits, 
But the big one that we find time and time again is veterans are so happy to move here if they have that 100% disability because they are able to purchase sometimes million dollar homes when previously they could only afford $500,000 homes simply because there's zero property taxes that they have to pay on that property. So if you are a veteran, Texas is the place to be. Now, I don't think clients necessarily know this before they move here. So this isn't a reason that we see people moving here, but I do want to relay a little bit of feedback that we've gotten from all of these clients that we've helped relocate here to the Houston area. And they are pleasantly surprised with the diversity and just the overall welcoming, I guess you could say, feel of moving here to Texas. A lot of people think that Texas is gonna be one thing and they're blown away by the welcoming, I guess, spirit of the city of Houston in general and Texas in general, that kind of Southern hospitality, the friendliness when you walk into a restaurant or a coffee shop or a store and you're greeted and the overall diversity. I think a lot of people think that, you know, Texas is a bunch of white cowboys and that's just not the case, especially here in Houston. Houston is one of the most diverse cities in the entire country. Look it up for yourself, but it is. And so time and time again, we have clients that relocate here and all of the worries that they had about, you know, Texas being kind of this overly conservative cowboy state. It's just not what people think it is from Western movies, I suppose. The thing is, Texas is huge and it's very welcoming and there's a place here for everybody. Now, this next point ties into a lot of the others that I've already touched on, but Texas is super family oriented. It, it kind of ties into those Southern values that we we have even the developers prioritize building developments that are catered towards families and so one huge draw that we have specifically on our channel if you go look at all of our videos most of them revolve around master plan communities and if you don't know what a master plan community is it is a community developed usually a couple thousand acres by one developer where they bring in tons of builders and they build water parks and trails and splash pads and pickleball courts and basketball courts and volleyball and you name it i mean i can just keep going on because that's what they're offering here in the houston area and so they're building these communities for families just like you that want to relocate and want to call Texas home. And really they're making it so convenient that you're never gonna leave. Now, Texas gets a lot of flack for how hot it is. And I'm gonna be honest with you, it can get brutal. That's the one thing that I do not love about Texas. I wish that it had Southern California's weather, but if it did, it would probably have Southern California's prices. And so that is one thing that we have to live with here. Now, the list could go on and there are other smaller reasons that we're finding people calling Texas home, but it really is 50-50. It's 50% the things that are going wrong where you currently live, and then it's 50% the things that Texas has going right for it. And I don't see it slowing down. I see growth in Texas on the rise. If any of these things speak to you and you're even considering Texas as an option, go ahead and explore it. We're not gonna force you to buy a house here, but we'll help you plan a trip. We'll help you see the area. We'll help you see it for everything that it is so that you can ultimately make the best decision for you and your family. Because at the end of the day, I know with younger kids, I'm willing to do whatever I need to do to give them the best life possible. And chances are that's the case with you as well. And so give Texas a shot. Let us know if you're gonna be here in town. Give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, or even better yet, click on that survey link in the comments below and a member of our team will reach out immediately. And we're just here to help answer all of your questions and see if Texas is the right place for you. And if it is, then we're gonna help you make a smooth move right here to Houston, Texas. Thanks so much for watching. Now go ahead and check out our next video. This one's gonna explain exactly what master plan communities are so that you can see if this is something that would interest you and your family.